What's up guys, this is John from the Reaper blog. In this video, I'm gonna show you what's new in Reaper 5, officially out today. So if you haven't downloaded it, get over to the Reaper website and download it now. And then you can follow along if you like. There's a lot of new things in Reaper 5, nothing game-changing, nothing that you're going to have to relearn and nothing taken away, but there are new things like video editing, new scripting languages, which allow so much control over Reaper, there's VCA groups, there's a new theme, tons of little things that will let you be more creative with your production. So let's jump over to Reaper and uh, let's have a look at the new theme. So in the TCP, most themes, they're, they're kind of have a similar layout and you know, you've got your record button and your track title. And the main thing that's different with this is that there's a, a knob instead of a slider for your volume control. And uh, there's also a lot of track layouts available. So there's all these and all these for the TCP and MCP. So uh, something that's pretty cool is this strip layout, just really super skinny. There's uh, the large sidebar, huge area available for inserting your plugins and sends, a big chunky fader to move around. You know, that's all cool stuff. I didn't like the new theme at first, but I'm definitely getting used to it. And you can always use your version 4 themes if you like. There's the default from version 4. And if you stick with it, you'll like it. I, I swear, you'll like it. Something related to themes is uh, the theme editor is not in the preferences. It's now found in the action list. Um, but we can run this now and change things and see the changes instantly, which is always nice. So that's the theme, that's the appearance. So let's look at the effects. So there aren't any new included instruments or effects, uh, which may be a little disappointing to some. The included effects worked great in version 4. Why wouldn't they work great in version 5? The appearance hasn't really changed with them. Slight differences change in uh, the colors, shadings, things like that, uh, depending on the theme you're using. So again, that's nothing new compared to version 4. Uh, one thing that's new is uh, reinsert has been updated. So this plugin is now easier to use. It detects your latency much better, and it is phase accurate. And you can use this for uh, external hardware, parallel compression, parallel processing, and have no phase issues. Uh, it's a great improvement, and it's about the only change that they've made to the built-in effects. Something they did add was VST3 support. So any VST3 plugins that you have installed will come up in a new list here, a new category, as well as instruments. Some plugins are only available in that format. Now you can use them in Reaper. I showed this in another video. You can make new plugin folders and use this smart folder option to uh, fill up that list automatically based on the name of the plugin. So this one, I named it pitch, uh, filtered by pitch, and here's all the plugins that I have with pitch in the title. That's about it for the effects browser and plugins. Let's look at the media explorer now. So uh, one thing you may notice from previous version is the, the navigation has been rearranged a little bit. So there's now a button to go up one level, go back and forward. That makes navigation a lot easier as well as you can now search within any folder from the search bar. So if I type in snare, it's going to find the two uh, snare tracks in that section. If I go to the sample library and type in TAM. It's going to search for a little while on this other window. You can cancel it if it's taking too long. But here are all the uh, tambourine samples and the folders that contain tambourine samples uh, in this list. And it does search by the name. So always name your files and they'll be easy to find. Those are the notable differences there with the Media Explorer. Let's look at the metronome. They've added this option to have beat patterns. So A, B, B, B means primary, like an accent on the downbeat and then three uh, secondary beats. You can also enter a period to skip a beat. And there's another pattern for all accents if you wanted. If we look at the toolbars, uh, we now have 16 available toolbars and, and I think an extra four in the 
uh, in the MIDI section. All right, VCA grouping. Here I've got a few tracks. I've got this track as my VCA master and these tracks as the slaves, I believe. Yep, VCA slaves. And there's this new VCA column in the grouping matrix. And I think this is also new, the highlighting to uh, make it easier to follow which parameter you're adjusting. So with this, you uh, choose a track that's going to be your master, and then you choose slaves. So now if I move this, if I move this fader, these faders don't move because I'm not linking the volume automation. I'm linking the audio output of these tracks. So let's put that back and I'll play it. Let's actually arm that for recording. Let's put that in, uh, let's put it in latch mode. Hit play. All right, so I've got some automation there. And you notice the faders didn't move here. That's the way VCA automation works. This applies to all the outputs of the tracks rather than the actual volume faders. So you can have volume automation on the individual tracks and then augment it with your VCA. And then with the action list, you can apply this curve to these tracks. Uh, so I'll show you that now. Uh, open up the action list, type in VCA, and you've got some options here. Apply VCAs from selected track and reset volume, or apply VCA to selected tracks and remove from VCA groups. So show you this first one, just select them all and hit run. Now we've got that volume automation on the individual tracks and the VCA master has been reset to zero. Now undo that, choose this one, and now it's going to be applied to the individual tracks. If we look in our grouping matrix, they're all out of the group now. So two different ways to work with that, both pretty useful, especially with big sessions. Uh, if you don't use folders for um, processing, this works great. Something that's been available in other programs for a long time, pretty useful. Let's look at this uh, base. This item has EQ added to it, and then I was able to add in an envelope to manipulate one of the parameters of the EQ. And you can see that here overlapped on the item. And you can have multiple envelopes active, and they'll just uh, kind of stack there. Really cool to be able to do this without being forced to use track automation. Having automation on items is pretty sweet, especially when you're working with video. Let's look at the video window. Reaper 5 is cool, sure is. We can now dock this window in Reaper 5. Put this window anywhere you want, on the side, which is really weird, up at the top, you know, wherever you want. I have a layout set up the way I like to edit with my effects browser and media explorer on the side. I've got my uh, mixer here, I've got my editor down here, and a docked window. We can double click this to go to full screen anytime we want. On this track, I've got the video processor plugin, which is right at the top of your list if you click on all plugins. So basically this is a JS effect and it manipulates the video items. There's a lot of stuff you can do with it. Um, change the track opacity, which would allow other things behind it or on other tracks to be visible. There's a stage lighting effect, which depending on the position, of the video, it adds in colors, titles and pixelating lots of little weird things. And then there's some other things that um, other users have added. And you'll have to search through the forum to get these presets, contrast changes, desaturation, 
make it black and white. Uh, something I came up with. Like black and white, but much more dramatic. Let's go to the item effects for this video item. And um, we can see the text overlay preset. I've edited text. Enter your text here, and then you choose a font. Hopefully this will be a lot more refined. We'll have a proper interface for this. Right now it's kind of weird. Uh, I don't think most people want to see a scripting language when they're editing video. But it does work. At the end of the day, that's all that really matters. So there we go. And got a second item. This is actually a MIDI item with the uh, video processor enabled with the text overlay preset with some item effects automation. So this title fades in and fades out. I'll take a look at the um, alpha. There you go. Let's look at the video options in the project settings. So uh, instead of having the video options kind of split up in different areas, we now have it all in one tab. So frame rate, um, preferred video size, that's what size uh, the video will be stretched to. Items in lower number tracks replace higher. So we go here, go here. This track, this is track one, this is track two. So um, lower number tracks replaces higher. And the other way, this is behind, we'd have to have this on this track. And then there's these other options for color space. You can usually keep that on auto. Always resize the video, resize the output, the preferred video size, high quality filter, keeping the aspect ratio. All these things you'll probably want to have on all the time when you're editing video. So I've made several videos in Reaper over the past few months, probably close to 10 videos edited in Reaper uh, with good results and overall positive experience. It works really well with compressed file formats like H.264, actually better than some professional editors, and, and that's surprising. So uh, the video you're watching now was edited in Reaper 5, and if you're watching it, that means it went well. So the last thing I'm going to show you is the script editor. There's now a built-in editor for creating your own Lua and EEL scripts. I've got one here that I made. I'm going to click Edit and bring up the editor. This is called the IDE. So this is a script that I made. It determines the length of the item, the fade in and the fade out. It then applies a fade in that is 50% of the item length, and then a fade out that is uh, one eighth of the item length. Then it displays the length of the item and, and basically what's changed. And then it loops around to the next item. And I grab two items. Drop them in on new tracks, separate tracks, and uh, you can run that script again. I have them both selected. I'm going to run and close. And here's the script output. Here's the item ID, which is the top one, how long the item is, and then how long the fades are. All this stuff is optional. It is kind of a thing to help you verify that it's working, things like that. Scripting is so powerful in Reaper, and it's not really that hard to learn. I learned how to make that script in just a couple hours um, from X-Rame's awesome tutorial series. I'll have a link in the description for that. And of course, if you're not interested in writing scripts, learning a scripting language, you can just download the scripts from the forum. So anything you want to do in Reaper, if it's not available in custom actions, it's probably possible with scripts. And either you can do it yourself, or you can get in contact with one of the guys that are making scripts every day, and they can usually solve it. Uh, there's some pretty crazy, powerful things that you can do with it. And the Reaper development team has kind of made a weird choice of, of kind of making this more and more open and uh, user customizable. In a way, it kind of makes it so that they don't have to make as much stuff for themselves. They give us the tools, and we can do anything we want with it. I think I've covered all the big things that have changed. I'm pretty excited about Reaper 5. I've been using it for months. It's been great. It's awesome. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you want to see in more depth, and I will do a video on that stuff. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out the blog at reaperblog.net. 
And thanks again for watching. See you guys.